myself is Anuradha, MCOM M5 and today we are going to discuss about the corporate accounting subject. In today's class, we go for the issue of the shares but before going for the issue of shares, we will see this corporate accounting subject. Actually, most of students think that this corporate accounting is a very tough and that's why they can't able to do the papers very properly. So, we we'll see first what is this accounting. So accounting is a process of recording and summarizing the financial information about the business. This is general and wherever the accounting is this, same meaning is there for the accounting. But what is this corporate accounting? The corporate accounting refers to the accounting of the company. So in the first years you must have studied your financial accounting etc. There we are recording the transaction relating to the sole proprietor, partners etc. But in the corporate accounting, you are fully talking about the how to record the company recordings, how to record the various transactions in the company. So when we see the company, it is a one form of doing the business. It is an artificial person having a perpetual succession and a common C. And this company, there are various transactions are there. So how to record these transactions in the books of the company, that is what we learn in this corporate accounting. So from the, in the corporate accounting, we learn the various transactions from the issue of the shares till the liquidation of the company. Also we see the different aspects of the corporate accounting or various special circumstances like when the two companies join together, how to record the transaction, when one company is taking over, another company, how to record the transaction, then when the business is sold to some other, how to value the goodwill, how to value the shares, all those things we studied in this corporate accounting. So today we go for the subject topic on the issue of shares. So, when we go for this issue of shares, sir, company need the fund and the fund they can raise through various sources. Either they can go for the financial institutions or they can issue the debentures or even they can issue the shares to the public and they can get the fund. Okay, so we are talking about the shares. So, here they are raising the fund, they are raising the money to start the business by issuing the shares to the public. And this issue of shares, there are two types of shares are there, one is called equity shares, another is called preference shares. The preference shares means the first preference will be given to those shareholders. So two preferential rights are given, one is regarding the dividend. Dividend means something, the return what we get from the issue of the shares is called the dividend. So the first dividend will be paid to the preference shareholder, later on only the equity shareholders will get the dividend. And regarding the, in case of liquidation, first the preference shareholders capital will be given back to them. The afterwards, only any surplus is left out, it will go to the equity shareholders. So when we go for the issue of shares, there are two kinds of issue of shares are there. One, they can issue the shares for cash, consideration, another is non-cash consideration. So cash consideration means when the shares are issued for the cash, we say it is for cash consideration. Consideration means something in return. For example, if I am going to the shop and I am going to purchase one book from the shop, I pay the money to the shopkeeper and I get the book from the shopkeeper. For the shopkeeper, the money is a consideration. For me, the book is a consideration. That something in return is called consideration. So the shares can be issued for cash consideration or not cash, non-cash consideration also the shares can be issued. In the cash consideration also we have got two types, base are there. One is lump sum, another is installment. So lump sum has the name indicates full capital, how much I need the capital, I raise the money in one installment itself, lump we are going to receive it, that is called lump sum. Installment means the money will be raised, collected in a small, small parts is called the installment. So when the shares are issued, shares can be issued at par, it can be issued at premium, it can be issued at discount. So for example, if there are 10,000 shares are there,
of rupees 10 each so actually 10,000 into 10 the capital comes around 1 lakh so this is called 10,000 is a shares this 10 rupees is called face value and this 1 lakh this is called share capital so if I need the capital of 1 lakh I will issue to the public in a small small denominations and that is called shares and this is called the face value so now suppose if the company is issuing the shares of 10 rupees each okay actually the value is 10 rupees they are issuing for 10 rupees it is called shares are issued at par when the 10 rupees shares it is issued for 12 the extra 2 is there no that extra 2 is called premium and this premium is a capital profit for the company when the same shares instead of 10 rupees if they are issuing for 7 rupees so 10 minus 7 the balance this 3 is no that 3 is a discount so the companies are issuing the shares to the public at a discount this discount is a capital loss for the company so the company can issue at par premium or discount but it depends upon the status of the company those company whose track record is very good and uh, continues learning profit they are standing in the business for the long period they can issue the shares at premium but if it is a new company is there no one know about the company so they can't issue at the premium they can either go for par or they can go for the discount so now we see the journal entries when the shares are issued at cash so same example for example there are 10,000 shares are there which is issued at rupees 10 each now how we are going to record this transaction so how we are going to record the transaction is the bank account debitor to share capital account so here what is happening is the full money is collected in the one installment itself so only one transaction is going to come bank account debited to share capital so the cash is coming to the business so that's why from business angle only we have to record the transaction so from the company the cash is coming in so we are debiting the bank account debited and share capital is actually liability and that liability is increasing that's why we are crediting this share capital now the question comes sorry just question comes how to write the amount there so how many shares are there 10,000 shares are there the value for each share is 10 rupees so 10,000 into 10 that is 1 lakh we have to write it so 1 lakh is a share capital so again we have to write the narration being shares issue so this is one entry when the shares are issued at par suppose same question if the shares are issued at discount 10,000 shares 10 rupees each issued at rupees 7 so how to record this so now we can't multiply by 10 because here 7 rupees only they are issuing 10 rupees shares actually they are issuing for 7 rupees so 10 minus 7 the 3 rupees at discount so same entry will be there but the amount will be differ so as I told you this is a loss capital loss so capital loss will be debited so bank account debited discount on issue of shares to share capital account actually share capital is 10,000 into 10 the discount value is 10 minus 7 3 rupees so 10,000 into 3 and 7 rupees actually the company is getting into 7 so 70,000 30,000 and say 1 lakh will be there so being shares issued at discount same question when the shares are issued at premium for example they are issuing at 12 so this extra 2 rupees a premium and premium is a capital gain so instead of debiting we have to credit that so the transaction will be like this 
same bank account because the company is going to receive the money to share capital to security screen account okay so now here 10,000 actually 10 rupees shares but issue for 12 so full 12 we have to multiply share capital value is face value 10 so 10 only will come premium 10 minus 12 2 rupees that is a capital gain 2 so now the amount will be 1 lakh 20 thousand this is 1 lakh and this is 20 thousand so when there is a discount is there discount we have to debit it when premium is there we have to credit the premium otherwise transaction will be bank account debited to share capital only so it depends upon the question if it is at a premium you have to record the premium if it is a discount we have to record the discount if no premium no discount is there just the par entry we are going to write it this is regarding when the shares are issued for cash and we are collecting in a lump sum the next is when the shares are issued at installment so for example 10,000 shares of rupees 10 each I take same example so it will be easy for you instead of collecting full 10 rupees suppose 2 rupees application rupees 5 allotment rupees 3 call so full 10 rupees they are not collecting at one instant itself they are collecting in a step by step form so it depends upon the company how they are going to collect it so the main advantage is that as and when the company need the fund they can collect from the public ok so they are collecting 2 rupees from the application 5 rupees from the allotment and 3 rupees from the call when we total this it comes around say 10 rupees what is the value was the share was issued ok so again this can be also at a par it can be at a premium, it can be at a discount but this is the part because 10 rupees share and total when we total it, it is 10 rupees so now we have to record the transaction last class, last uh, entries we recorded just one here application, two entries we are going to record it for allotment, again two entries we are going to record it for call, again two entries we are going to record it so first when the company is issuing the application to the public public is purchasing the application and from the application the money is coming to the company so for that we are going to record the transaction so two entries we are going to record one is cash is coming in this money will be transferred to share capital account after that what the company will do they will allot the shares so once the allotment is done now they will tell to the public your allotment money is due so can you pay the allotment money so first due entry we are going to write it then we are going to write the recipient then when they need more money they will make a call so again first due entry we are going to write it next we are going to write the recipient so just we see how to record this transaction so same way we are recording it but because here the installment is more so number of transaction also increases so same account bank account debited to share application account because we are not going to write the share capital because the money is coming through the application so bank account through application being application money received so how many shares were there 10,000 shares were there application money was 2 so multiply by 2 not by the 10 so 10 into 2 it comes around 20,000 20,000 they have collected the application Second thing, after this application money collected, it should be transferred to the share capital account. So, share application account debited to share capital account. Same amount because here no changes in the number of shares. So, same 20,000 we received, we transfer. Now, third entry will be allotment money due. So when the due is there, no bank account entry should come. So share allotment account debited to share capital account. So how much amount, same 10,000 shares we are going to take. The allotment money was 5. So 10 into 5, 
50,000, 50,000 will come. So now there's a due. Now company is going to receive the money. So the entry will be back or limited to share allotment. So through the share allotment, the money is coming. So that's why we are crediting the share allotment. So same, there is a full money has been received. So 50,000 will come. Next, the call is due. So when the call is due, the company may be telling that your call is due. Share, call account debited. So how many calls are there? It depends upon the company. It may first call, second call, or final call. So according to the need of the company, they can make the calls. So share call account debited to share capital account. Now how much? Same 10,000 shares we are going to take. But what is the call money? It was 3 rupees. So 10,000 to 3, 30,000 will be our call money due. Being call due. Now finally, we are going to receive, the company is going to receive the call money. The sixth entry will be bank account. Whenever the cash is coming in, we are going to debit it. Bank account debited to share call account. Same 30,000, the company is going to receive it. So now what we saw is there, when the application is issued, first the company is going to receive the application. So receive entry, then transfer entry. When the allotment is due, first due entry, then receiving entry. When the call is due, the call entry and the call received entry. So this is general and just basic of uh, uh, shares when they issued at installment. Okay, so suppose there are chances are there that company may issue 10,000 shares but public may apply for 20,000 shares. It is called over subscription. The company has issued 10,000, public applied only for 8,000 shares. So balanced shares, that is called under subscription. So according to the case, the sums may differ. And same way when the company is making the call, some shareholders, they may not pay the call money on the time or they may not pay the call. That is called calls in earlier. But when the calls in earlier, after giving the notice also, the shareholders does not pay the money, then the shares will get cancelled cancel that is called four feature of the shares again this four feature of shares when happens the share capital of the company reduces for that also after this the transaction will become same four feature shares is a no use for the company so what they will do is again they will reissue to the public that is called reissue for that also we have to write the entry again share four feature can be at premium par discount Reissue also can get par, premium or discount. Balance any amount is there in the share for feature. It should be transferred to the capital reserve account. If there is no balance, it is okay. The balance is there, it will go to the capital reserve. So I think you are able to get some idea regarding the issue of the shares. So this shares, what is the shares means? The total share capital of the company is divided into small, small denominations. This denomination is called shares. When the company raises the capital by issuing the shares, it is called share capital. There are two types of very famous shares are there, equity shares and preference shares. These shares, when we are issuing, we can issue for cash or for other than cash. When you are issuing for the cash, it can be for lump sum or it can be an installment. Even the lump sum, only one entry is enough because whole transaction got over there itself. When the shares are issued at installment, Lord, how many installments are there for each thing we have to write the entry and then depending upon the sums, depending upon the cases, the transaction may extend. But these few transactions are repeated transactions. So once you understand the concept properly, try to know what we are going to study the subject, what we are going to learn from this, understand the entries because debit rule credit rule same only it is not going to change according to the type of accounting but the financial accounting corporate accounting whatever accounting the rule is same only only thing is where to apply when we have to debit when we have to credit if you know that transaction we can easily finish up this corporate accounting so actually the corporate accounting is not very tough subject as you are thinking it is just ordinary subject how other accountings are there only thing is there, the lot of formats are there, lot of formulas are there. That's why the paper looks very tough. 
if you make more practice, if you work out all the sums one by one, you don't go for very big sums, go for simple small small sums so that you will become perfect in that, then afterwards you go for the big sums. So in this issue of the shares we saw regarding what is the shares, so the total capital of the company is divided into the small small units, these small units is called shares. And then what is share capital? When the company raises the capital through the issue of shares to the public, it is called share capital. Then what are the different kinds of the shares? So two kinds are the main kinds. One is the equity shares, another is the preference shares. So when the shares are issued to the public, two ways are there they can issue. One is for the cash consideration, for non-cash consideration. When they go for cash consideration, lump sum and installment. That lump sum installment only we saw in detail. So lump sum means the full amount, how much the capital company needs. Full amount will be collected in the one installment itself, that is called lump installment. Lump sum, where we are going to record only one entry. And if it is a part, one entry, discount, discount should be incorporated. If it is a premium, premium should be incorporated. When you go for the installment, so how many installments are there? According to that, we have to record the transactions. So uh, in this last sum, we just saw very simple sum where application, allotment and all was there. So if there is a forfeiture, we have to record for forfeiture. If there is a reissue, we have to record for the reissue. So apart from the issue of shares, lot of other things are there in the corporate accounting like the valuation of goodwill is there, valuation of shares are there, then amalgamation, absorption, internal reconstruction, apart from that liquidation of the company. So if you understand each unit, what you are going to learn and what are the formats are there or what are the formulas are there, it is a very easy to score the marks in corporate accounting. All the best students.